Hannah and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. In today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how I take silhouette photos of the horses that you may have seen here on my channel or over on my Instagram. Also, before we get started, I just want to mention that I am nowhere near being a professional photographer. Photography is just something that I really enjoy doing, and it's something that I do as a hobby. And most of the things that I like do and the things that I've learned, I've learned just by playing around with my camera. So I don't really know like exactly what I'm doing um I just you know play around with my camera a lot and just have fun with it like I I don't really know what I'm doing so um this is just how I take my silhouette photos also I'm still learning a lot about shooting in manual I just got my DSLR last year about 10 or 11 months ago so I'm still learning a lot about shooting in manual mode and all that kind of stuff and something else I wanted to mention before we get started is you do not have to have a DSLR like mine. You can use a point and shoot camera or a phone. As good as phones are now, like phones can take pretty great silhouette photos. Um, the lighting is pretty much the most important thing. One of the most important things anyway. In most of my silhouette photos I actually took with the camera that I had previously which was just my point and shoot camera which was a Nikon Coolpix L830 which I would definitely recommend using that camera when you're first starting out because it's great to learn with. Um, I used it for let's see two years maybe maybe like two and a half years I used it and I absolutely loved it and I still have it. Um, Lila uses it now and it's just a great camera so I'll link that down below in case y'all want to go and check out that but today I'm going to be using my DSLR um, to take these pictures with because it's what I use now to take um, pictures and also film with which is what I'm filming on right now and the DSLR camera that I have is the Canon Rebel T6i and I will have that linked below as well so you guys can check that out um, if you'd like to also, if you guys enjoy this video and you would like me to start doing more videos like this and start like a photography series on my channel, let me know if you would like me to do that down in the comments and also comment videos you would like to see within that photography series. Um, and I might start up a photography series for y'all on this channel and just comment below letting me know if y'all like this video and yeah, I hope y'all enjoy it and let's just get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to talk about is lighting. Lighting is super important when you're trying to capture a silhouette. Normally, I take my silhouette photos at golden hour, which is either sunrise or sunset. And you want to get your subject between you and the sun to create the silhouette. The sun is setting over here or the sun rises over here you want your subject to be in the middle and then you're over here going this way because if the sun is behind your subject your subject is going to be black um, and then it's going to be like lit in the back which is going to capture the sunrise the sunset whatever you're trying to capture in the background or the sky if that makes any sense um, it's kind of like if you are taking a picture of something like say you're taking a picture of a person that is standing in front of a window it's not gonna be the best quality because the person is going to be like a shadow like blacked out and it's going to like focus on the window because that's just how the lighting works I'm not really, I'm really bad at explaining stuff but I hope that makes sense I really love to capture silhouettes when we have a really colorful sunset or when we have like clouds in the sky like cumulus clouds in the sky I really love capturing silhouettes like that when the sky is like really blue and then you have a bunch of cumulus clouds but they're like spaced out so you, and like when we have a really colorful sunset it just depends like what kind of background you're going for and what you want the sky to look like and all that kind of stuff Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the settings that I like to use when I'm taking a silhouette and what you're going to look for. Okay, so the first thing I check is my ISO, and the higher your ISO, the more light it lets into your lens, and the lower the number, the less light it lets into your lens. And you always want to have your ISO at the lowest um, you can keep it because the higher your ISO, the more you will experience grain with your photos. 
Um, so you're going to want to keep it as low as possible. And since we're capturing a silhouette, I just put it on 100. And I put my shutter speed on 1 320th of a second because that's fast enough to kind of avoid like any camera shake or anything like that. And then my f-stop was at f5 and all of these settings will vary depending on where I am taking the picture and what I'm taking the picture of and everything like that. But those are what my settings were when I was taking the example shots for this video. And it's really important to take your silhouettes in manual instead of auto because if you try to take a silhouette in auto, it's going to try to give you a happy medium between your foreground and background. Um, but with the lighting that is available so you are not going to really be able to capture that silhouette and it's not going to be really good quality and most of the time when I'm taking a silhouette I really want to focus on the sky you don't need a lot of detail in your subject since it's going to be a silhouette so I really love focusing on the sky and I don't like to lose a lot of color and warmth in the sky so I'll set my white balance to um, cloudy or shady so it doesn't lose that warmth Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about are the angles. Angles are really, really important when it comes to silhouettes and just photography in general. So what I like to do is get low on the ground. I will either sit on the ground or lie on the ground and look up at the subject so it gets the subject above any trees or objects or anything that might be in your way of getting the subject backed up to the sky if that makes any sense. The easiest thing is probably to get your subject on a hill and then you're at the bottom of the hill looking up so your subject is right here you're down here and then you can get it butted up to the sky so you're not like level with it so if you're level with it you're gonna have a bunch of most likely you're gonna have a bunch of like objects in the background and it won't really create that silhouette like backed up to the sky because it's not backed up to the sky if you're level with it so the easiest thing to do is get your subject on a hill or for you to lie down a, like lower than your subject and that way you're looking up at the subject and the sky is up here um, it's kind of hard to explain like if you like look into a camera and see it it's a lot easier so you could, guys can probably tell a little bit with the clips I'm showing you um, because it's kind of hard for me to like explain it. It probably doesn't make much sense unless you actually see it happening. But you want to get lower than your subject so your subject is butted up to the sky or whatever. My family is laughing their butts off. I don't know why. <laughs> um, you can probably hear them in the background. Um, so like I said, you can either lay on the ground, sit on the ground looking up at your subject, or you can put your subject on a hill and then get low on the ground down here. And another thing you can do is put your subject like on a road. Like if you have a dirt road, you can put your subject on the road and then you can like get in the ditch looking up at the subject. But you might want to like check the ditch for like snakes and stuff before you hop in the ditch. Um, normally I just use the hill method, which we don't really have any hills on our property. The only hill that we have is our drain fill. So that's what I use to take the pictures on mostly. Most of the silhouette pictures that you see on my like Instagram and stuff, um, are the horses like on the drain fill so that's kind of funny like that's normally what I use to take all my silhouette shots so yeah that is all I have for today's video I hope y'all enjoyed it and found it helpful give it a thumbs up if you did I love y'all so much and I will see y'all next time bye